Ariana Grande always keeps us updated on what she's doing either professionally or with her personal life, and there isn't a moment where she's letting her fans know about anything that she's doing. It's awesome how she is really being there for all of her fans. Now, if you aren't following her on Twitter, she's at Ariana Grande. She's one of the top suggestions all the time for recently created Twitter accounts, and she's on Facebook page with over a million fans following her, literally millions of fans following her conversation and her career and what she's been up to. There isn't a moment where she isn't doing anything. There's always something uh, for fans to check out when it comes to Ariana Grande and her website is just as phenomenal. You have to check it all out. And her music videos are awesome. The music video for The Way, her first major music video, was awesome. It received millions of hits on Vivo. The music video for Problem has received just as many millions of hits. Uh, the song Break Free, which I'm sure is going to have a music video in due time, will receive millions of hits as well. The singles alone are getting millions of hits on download sites like iTunes, along with the albums uh, that she's released. Her first album, Yours Truly, dropped, I think, a little over a year ago. She's already got a follow-up to that one. Uh, it's awesome how far Ariana Grande has come. So then you sit back and you wonder why she walked away uh, from a TV show like Sam and Cat. Obviously, it was because of the response that her singles has gotten on syndicated radio, the response she got as an actress. She's already won favorite TV actress. And again, how many times do you have to win the award for favorite TV actress before you make the final decision to walk away from something? There's only so many times that you can win an award like favorite TV show or favorite TV actress. And Ariana Grande realizes that. She doesn't want to have 50 awards for being the favorite TV actress for whatever TV series she may be doing 20 or 25 years from now. You can win endless amounts of awards for music, but when it comes to acting for an actress or a movie or a TV show, there's only so many times you can win an award like favorite TV actress or favorite TV series. There are endless amounts of awards you can win for music, and there are always new competitors to compete against every year for the award that you may have won in the previous year. So if Ariana Grande wins an award this year at the AMA Awards, then there's going to be more competition for her to go up against, and if she wins the award, she'll have defeated a new array of talent, uh, which is something to be credited for. It's not like you're competing against the same individuals every year, like Nickelodeon for a favorite TV show award, or being a favorite TV actress is very rarely uh, that we see something new from a network like Nickelodeon or Disney. So with the rarity of something new and a feeling of novelty uh, in Nickelodeon and Disney all the time, I guess there's a reason why she walked away from it, because she wants to do more with her music career. And Miley Cyrus said the same thing about a year and a half ago. She said she had a passion for music, unlike movies. Uh, she loved acting as an actress in movies and for TV shows, but she had more of a passion for music, and that's why she chose to walk away from things like acting and being in movies and TV shows because she wanted to focus more on her career. And when I heard that uh, from Miley a number of years ago, I had a lot of respect for her for making that decision, and I have just as much, if not more, respect for Ariana Grande uh, for doing the same thing. So should be she be held accountable uh, for walking away from Nickelodeon? I don't think she should be held accountable for walking away uh, from Nickelodeon. If you're ever wondering if I think she should be held accountable for doing that, I don't think she should be, uh, because a lot of people have done it, and a lot of people have been given the benefit of the doubt over the years for doing it. So I think that Ariana Grande, you can kind of make an exception for her decision to walk away uh, from the world of Nickelodeon and acting for a while, because I don't think we have seen the last of Ariana Grande as an actress. That's a prediction that I am making. So I don't think she should be held accountable for one moment uh, for walking away, because a lot of people... I have done it. Miley Cyrus has done it. Demi Lovato has done it because of going into rehab a number of years ago. Selena Gomez has done it. Selena Gomez came back as a producer, actually, uh, for Wizards Return on Disney last year in 2013 for the final presentation of Wizards ever, and she was the producer of that, so that was a huge honor for her. Uh, so many people have done it. Bridget Mendler recently walked away from Good Luck Charlie, so we've, we've seen it happen before, and it's very repetitive. Uh, they all walk away, and you've all given them uh, the benefit of the doubt. So why not give Ariana Grande the same amount of respect and that same benefit of the doubt? Because I don't think she should be held accountable with how awesome she is. She had immediate potential that was almost immediately recognized. And ever since having that potential recognized, she has gone from being an absolute nobody on a Broadway musical, The Lion King, with people like Leon Thomas and Matt Bennett, gone from there to being one of the biggest stars in the world. Not as big as someone like a Taylor Swift just yet, but give her time and she definitely will fall into that category. I have no idea uh, where Jeanette McCurdy is headed. I'm not as big of a fan of Jeanette McCurdy as I am Ariana Grande, and I'm not afraid to tell you that uh, because I think that Ariana Grande has a lot more potential uh, than what Jeanette McCurdy has because really all Jeanette McCurdy has done is star in a couple of original Nickelodeon TV movies uh, like Swindle, which she starred in with Ariana Grande. 
Uh, she starred in a lot of movies with uh, Noah, the guy who plays Gibby on uh, iCarly. So she's been a supporting actress her entire career. So why should we really have more potential going behind her and have more faith in her than what we do Ariana Grande? Because let's face it, the only reason why Sam and Kat really got over uh, was because of what Ariana Grande was doing. If you took Ariana Grande out of Sam and Cat, I mean, the script would have sucked. Uh, there wouldn't have been as many funny moments. And there wouldn't have been really a good chemistry between Jeanette McCurdy and anybody else that you could have put on that show with her uh, than Ariana Grande. So if you took Ariana Grande out of the script entirely, uh, you wouldn't really have a great show to talk about or something to watch or something to look forward to. The biggest reason why I watched Sam and Cat was because of Ariana Grande and the potential that I immediately recognized three or four years ago. When Victorious went to four seasons, you kind of knew they were going to do something else with the cast of Victorious because it was one of the biggest casts they had ever assembled for a Nickelodeon TV series. There was a lot of promise uh, behind the TV show Victorious. It went to number one, took home the award for favorite TV series in 2012 at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. And whatever it is about favorite TV series awards that are won at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, once a show wins that distinction once or twice, the show is canceled and there's nothing ever done. Uh, with this series. One of the longest lasting Nickelodeon TV series was uh, I, Carly, and I believe the other one uh, was Big Time Rust, but the longest running Nickelodeon TV series that uh, had anything like a theme like a Victorious or a Drake and Josh uh, was uh, I, Carly, and I think that after you win the award of favorite TV series once or twice, now it seems to be only once you have to win it. You're canceled. And nothing is ever done uh, with the TV series, but I'm really happy they're doing something with the cast members of the TV series Victorious, and hopefully we're going to have promising futures for people like Ariana Grande and Jeanette McCurdy. Just the other night, actually, uh, is how I found out about this TV series being canceled. I was listening uh, to a countdown show on a Toronto radio station, if you can believe it or not, on satellite, and I heard a timbit of news uh, on an eTalk radio program counting down the top 20 hits uh, for that weekend where they had uh, rumors of Ariana Grande's TV show being canceled. They confirmed the TV show being canceled uh, near the end of the program, and I ended up staying up until at least 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning to hear it, and I was just so depressed. I was wondering to myself, you know, where is Ariana Grande going to go from here? They are on Twitter at eTalk20 and on Facebook at the same eTalk20 by 1.35, quarter to 2 in the morning, finally finding it out, and I felt like I was going to die because Ariana Grande's TV series had been canceled because of the success that she's had as a celebrity, but that's the only reason why uh, her TV series has been canceled, because she's had so much success as a celebrity. And last year, did you happen to see her performance at the AMA Awards? What an incredible performance Ariana Grande gave. It was so emotional. Her eyes were closed from the beginning of the performance to the conclusion of the performance. She got a standing ovation, and one thing that I got uh, from the performance was the emotion coming from the celebrities and the fans and the crowd. Some fans were wiping tears out of their eyes. Celebrities that knew Ariana Grande were doing the same thing. Her family's been very supportive of her. There's just something about this emotional connection uh, that she has with fans, kind of like how Victoria Justice had that connection with the fans that no other star in Nickelodeon when it came to an actress. And that's what got Victoria Justice over, and that's why she's gone into making movies and music at the same time, because she doesn't want to give up on any aspect of her career. But that's why Victoria Justice got over, because of the connection uh, that she had with her fans. And with millions of fans on Facebook and Twitter for Ariana Grande, and having a number of syndicated albums uh, being released that have all sold millions of copies uh, worldwide with top singles that have gone to the top of the Billboard chart, either in the top 10, top 5, or going all the way out of number one, how can you not uh, have an emotional connection with your fans? Because your fans are the reason why you're on the top of the top 40 billboard chart. That's why you've sold a million or two million or three million copies of your multi-platinum record. So Ariana Grande should have an emotional connection with fans, and fans should be just as thankful for Ariana Grande giving them everything uh, that she has because she puts her heart and soul into a performance. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a fan of Ariana Grande. You may be saying to yourself, fuck you, Jonathan Clark. You're only saying this about people like Miley and Ariana because you're a fan of them. Yes, I'm a fan of Ariana and Miley. I'll never deny that. I was ever a fan of Miley before I ever was a fan of Ariana Grande only because I had not discovered Ariana Grande or people like Selena Gomez before I discovered uh, Miley Cyrus. I was always a fan of someone like Miley Cyrus. But the thing is, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt because they are the stars of tomorrow. So why not talk about them? on your radio shows. Why not write about them for your written column? No matter if you want to admit to it or not, they are what is tomorrow, and they are who is worth talking about. And that's why 
I'm talking about Ariana Grande as much as what I have, why I've come out with this YouTube series of videos on Sam and Cat and Ariana Grande's career, while I'll be doing it for the other actors and actresses in Nickelodeon because they are what is tomorrow and they are what is worth talking about. And I wish that more people will be talking about them more than what they are. A tin bit of news on a countdown show like eTalk 20 or the Top 40 with Ryan Seacrest or Rick Dees and the Weekly Top 40 isn't enough. We need a half hour show every week on radio where we're talking about these celebrities and we need to realize and come to terms with the fact that they are what is tomorrow and they are what is worth talking about. And if you take anything uh, from this video blog on YouTube at Jonathan Clark 22, take the fact they are what is tomorrow and they are who are worth talking about because really at the end of the day, that's what it amounts to. I mean, Ariana Grande is an all-around success. Her latest album features so many guest celebrity appearances. It is unbelievable. Virtually every track has a guest celebrity appearance, even this latest one uh, that she has called Break Free. And if you haven't checked out Break Free, it's an awesome song. And there's going to be a great music video released for this one. If there isn't one already, you're going to have to go to Vivo to see some of Ariana Grande's previous music videos. Her latest for Problem, the remixes of Problem, and this new one, Break Free, which you can kind of predict is going to go to number one. It may be a bit too early to predict that Break Free is going to go to number one because right now it's just being looked at as a follow-up to Problem featuring Iggy Azalea, which went to number one, her very first uh, number one hit. But the thing is, that song you can kind of predict will go to number one. It's just a prediction. It's not confirmed it'll go to number one. If not the number one, at least the top 20 or top 15 of the top 40 is where you'll find it, if not in the top 10. Uh, but Ariana Grande is just awesome, and I think that she deserves a lot of credit for how far she has gotten in such a short amount of time. And something really cool about Ariana Grande, I found this out the other day. Her mom actually manages communication services for the military, and she loves baking. She described her mother as a badass individual who wasn't the baking type. But I love the fact that Ariana Grande bakes because I always loved a woman who could cook or bake.